What up fam, it's day four on this Spain to Morocco trip and it is time to travel to Marrakesh. Yes, come on God, the motherland, Africa, let's go. So the first finesse tip on how I made this trip so affordable is I used the app called Hopper and Hopper monitored my flights. So it monitored when the flight from Atlanta to Spain would be affordable and I ended up purchasing that flight for $520. And then it also monitored when the trip from Madrid to Marrakesh would be affordable and I bought that ticket for guess how much? Guess how much on Ryanair? $54, y'all. I will warn you, traveling with Ryanair is a little bit like spirit. The ride is a little bit bumpy. You gotta enter through the back door if you don't pay the priority, but I got there safely. Now shout out to us because the universe is always working in our favor. We met a really nice couple in Spain who ended up giving us the WhatsApp number to their driver in Marrakesh. And I will say when you travel to Marrakesh, unless you go there all the time, you need a driver or a tour guide because they drive really wild. Now they do drive on our same side, but the driving is a little wild. So I would say definitely get a driver and our driver was amazing. He took us to places we probably would have never traveled to being tourists and he was such a gentleman. Hi. Me saying our driver Jabron was amazing is probably an understatement. Our flight was delayed and he was still there waiting for us with signage. And I do say driver because over there you have to have certain permits in order to be a tour guide so he preferred that we refer to him as driver but as he picked us up and took us to our hotel he drove us through the city giving us a lot of information about the culture we call it like Ibarra. Ibarra means like the winter area okay Ibarra. your Ibarra, my friend is Most of like the famous hotels, clubs, casinos are all in this, oh this neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, you know Marrakesh is like the city of having fun. The city of we arrived to our hotel to drop our things off before heading to dinner. We ended up staying at the Marriott Nafis, which I would have preferred to stay at a local hotel, but my cousin wanted to stay at something that she knew, which was the Marriott, and we ended up getting discounts on it anyway, so that was cool. But this hotel was beautiful. They even had a botanical garden in the courtyard. Jabron waited patiently for us to get situated in our hotel and then took us to dinner where he had made reservations at Chez Ali. Now this place was like no other. It was definitely an experience. It's centered around the movie Alibaba, so there was a ton to see. They had exhibits, they had performances, they had people come there from other tribes to perform. The dinner was exquisite. They even gave us fruit and of course they gave us mint tea at the end because that's what Marrakesh is known for and then there was a huge performance when dinner was over this is the wife of Fez mm. Inshallah, inshallah. So all the ladies that you see in the cage, you see they have like different uh, like dresses. Mm -hmm. So every dress is from a city. Okay. So this one is, is from Warzazab. We see the first one like from Marrakesh. The second one from Fez. Okay. okay. Fez is one of like uh, the oldest city in the country. Why? The husband when they get married. Mm -hmm. So here all all the the, 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 the husband bring for his wife. Okay. 
And this thing, we call it like a marina. So we play with outside to some stadium style seating where we enjoyed the real show. Thanks to Gibran, we got way more than expected. We thought we were just going to dinner, but Chez Ali was an elaborate experience that I recommend to anybody traveling to Marrakesh. If you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe because we'll be back with more from Morocco. Peace.